and welcome Maria Chinoza. student times during uh, and he has also taken up as a soldier in the Palestine he was a soldier and a bodyguard to Yasser Arafat and um, and that is the kind of struggle that we want to share with our children because that struggle means we are making changes we want to change but we want to change is because we want a better Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. We are all involved in Mercy because we want a better Malaysia as well. Not just clean and fair elections. The people have actually for 61 years, our struggle has been suppressed. Suppressed by a government that actually has ignored our voice they have trampled on our rights. They have thrown us to jail. They have actually arrested us. And now we have this anti-fake news. It's another attempt to shut us down. And we must fight back. Because this time round, the struggle of the people is to ensure that no more, no more of cheating, no more of, of actually stealing money from the rakyat. We cannot, we cannot allow them, no more. And we have to fight back. That is the struggle that we are going to bring to PRU 14. Our struggle is to change this government. We have to change this government because it is not just for us. It is for the future and for us to teach our young that there is a chance to make a change. That is what we want. They have actually stolen so much from us and it is not a joke anymore. It is billions of ringgit that belongs to us and tonight 
to be honest, we have somebody from Bursay, Bursay, Geneva with us and they actually made wave. They went and claimed the frozen money from the Switzerland government that actually leads back to a connect that is connected to 1MDB. And they have actually lobbied Global Bursay. Global Bursay has actually lobbied together with C4 to say that, hey, don't bring back the money to Malaysia now. Wait until we change the government, bring back the money for the rakyat. And I think that that is the way it should go. That should be the way that we should fight back to fight back for our integrity, to fight for our rights, and to fight for what we believe can be a better Malaysia. Yeah. They have actually used all forms. Just now you hear Hiroi Sien and also Chao Sien Togo, my good friends, who have actually talked about the 1MDB, about the delineation. That is also methods, ways in which they have used this issue to divide the citizens. They have also been using racism to divide us. They have used poverty to also divide us. There is a UNICEF report that actually says that children under 12 are malnourished and un and stunted. Come on, this is the millennium. This is the millennium where we should be better. But we have children who don't have enough to eat. Now how good is this government? You tell me. We so therefore we have to think and we have to act wisely and to ensure that this struggle that we have with us, we will bring it to the PRU 14. The PRU 14 is where you, as Rakyat of Malaysia, has to make a decision to say either we make the change, change this government so that we have a chance to rebuild this country, or we will have more 1 MDBs, many, many more 1 MDBs for us to actually feel that, you know, there is no hope. And we want hope. We come here, all of you are here because you want hope. You want change. Yes. Correct or not? Yes. But we want change, right? Yes. Yes. We want change because this is getting too much. And we want change because we don't want racial politics in our country. Yeah, for many years, they have divided us according to our race. But they have not dealt with the real issue, the poverty that, that we have in this country, children not having enough to eat. We have rising costs, rising prices, rising petrol prices as well as GST and yet, yet our salaries have remained almost the same. That does not help us. Some of you may have better income but friends, the GST does hit those who are struggling on a lower income. And that's why the introduction of GST must stop. We must hapuskan GST. Yeah. Because it is actually introduced in a very unjust manner. Yes, we do need income so that the economy can grow. But hello, they can actually sell all the properties that they have stolen from us. The pink diamond rings, the eponymity, the, all the expensive um, paintings and bring back the money back to Malaysia so that we can rebuild this country. Yeah. And I really hope 
that all of you will actually do much more, much more than just going to the ballot box to vote. Be a pacha, be a polling agent and counting agent, because I can tell you that they are still continuing to cheat, even at this last minute. This last minute where they are now, in two days time, we are going to look at, we are going to monitor the postal votes. And one unofficially, we have been told that the number of postal votes can change and it, when, and it doesn't go according to the the Sunarai uh, Undi, to the electoral roll. And this is unacceptable. There is no way that you can change Undi post. It's either 100 or nothing. Or you cannot tell us that it's 100 Undi post and then later tell us it has increased three times more. That is not acceptable. And only post in GE13 cost the Pakatan Harapan, that time Pakatan Rakyat, 30 seats. 30 seats that could have been won and could have allowed Pakatan Harapan to actually form a new government. Those 30 seats were actually lost. So this time round, we must be more vigilant. Don't allow them to cheat on us anymore. Be a pacha and help all the candidates of Pakatan Harapan so that we will be able to fight this election together. This is not just about the candidates. It is not about any of these people up there, nor about me. It is about the country. This country, we can save and we can play a role even at this last minute. All of us must play a role to make sure that we protect our vote and we make sure everyone comes out to vote so that we will have a new government. Yeah. On the 9th of May, we are going to tell 